This video is about the new Honda Moto Compacto uh, which just came to my attention and this is a pretty extraordinary design that I just had to review. Let me reload this page. It's a highly interactive and animated page. When you open it up like this you get this big animation. Overall I think for a website, it is a beautifully done website. I don't mind watching this classy little video. It takes up a lot of bandwidth if you are on a cellular connection. And I don't like this, this over animated thing every time you move. The, some of these headers move left and right. But otherwise, it's a very clean, minimalist, uh, beautiful website. Does it give you enough information? So here's a little bit more about this Compacto. It has tiny wheels like a scooter. This is basically a scooter that is disguised as a suitcase or can be folded into a suitcase format and it still rolls. What's interesting about it is it still rolls on sizable wheels. I think the wheels uh, they look like around 10 inches and so this is really very compact and not just compact but if you commute to an office even if they don't like a, a stand-up scooter let alone a folding bike with the oily chain this is going to look very clean a person might even mistake it for a laptop or something technical maybe it's like a server on wheels or something like that it's, it's the kind of design that may become a collector's item just because it's so unique. And I'm going to show you how it folds. This is a really cool feature of this website. As you scroll down, you can see how it looks from different angles and also how it folds. Pretty similar to what you would get from a stand-up e-scooter, except that it has this this briefcase-looking uh, compartment, and everything folds into it, which just makes it even more clean. And I guess it, it is more clean. There's a bit of a handle you have at the top, but you definitely don't want to carry it far because it weighs about 40 pounds. You see the dimensions of it. A fairly standard, very minimalist, although high-tech interface, not much information on it. Obviously, this is not something you can, you can tune, and it's not exactly a speed machine either, although 15 an hour is not bad, especially if you just want it for a short run. 12 miles range. Assuming that this is somewhat of an exaggeration, I would say let's take 10 miles what is 10 miles 10 miles is it would cover a shorter commute in new york like from the not so distant boroughs into manhattan maybe from astoria to manhattan upper west side upper east side even harlem to midtown it would do that the charging is really slow for something as limited as this machine three and a half hours I charge my machine that can do 60 miles on a single charge in no more than four hours. So I am assuming that the voltage is limited, but then again, my charger is noisy. There is a huge fan in it because I, otherwise it would just overheat. And quiet charging is probably essential, especially if you're at the office. Water resistant, well, well at least you can ride it in the rain. 41 maybe 42 pounds it's not a lightweight scooter by any measure lots of nice pictures I really like the website I wish old scooters had as much information on their site especially pictures nicely done I am assuming some of the componentry might be Chinese made maybe the whole thing is Chinese made but Honda quality control should do the trick. So this is a reliable brand and you should not have quality problems. 
there is this weirdness of the battery charger being inside this box but they are not showing you how it's taken out so I'm not at all sure maybe before you, you fold these things in you, re you can reach in by hand that's probably what it is and you take out the charger and then you can fold everything into this empty space there is uh, there are customization uh, possibilities as well from Honda but I assume you could just make your own sticker as well and that would be even more original and there is an app not much on the app really is just showing you what's in the battery and how much longer you can make and the fact that there is a map is is neat but you could probably just use a, a Google map or the Apple map to figure out how much how far you can go so the app is really not that significant I doubt it and it, it's not being mentioned but I doubt that there is any kind of regenerative braking or cruise control and at least the electronic braking I would want to have I'm quite certain they this, uh, this machine does not have that now Honda originally especially back in the 1980s used to have this Moto Campo the Moto Campo was gasoline powered it's no longer being made but it exists on the market as a used item it is actually quite pricey but that should not be a surprise because this is a gasoline machine that can go the distance so it can go quite far and this video shows a little bit about how this new Honda Moto Compacto is, is put together you can remove the seat and then you can roll it around this rolling around feature is nice but you can do that with any scooter any smaller lighter weight scooter you can roll around like this and then you just fold it when you get to your destination so that's nothing unusual the price of the compacto is a thousand dollars so it's much less than what you would spend on <clears throat> something like this this is the Wii pad if you go to my website if you click below I have I have a section for rides and at the bottom currently there is the VPAD website in the US and you can even buy stuff off of this website this would be the competitor to the Moto Campo but a far far more robust and more high quality product this is handmade in South Korea I have already done at least one video on it I'm not gonna go into details obviously it costs eight, th eight uh, times as much but l look at the capacity 40 kilowatt kilowatts of power 90 mile range and the speed of 62 miles per hour and 15 inch tires so it's also a lot more stable Honda decided to miniaturize the the Moto Campo a lot more and so obviously you cannot expect the performance that you would get from a high-end machine like this 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 was made to get on the highway for short distances to keep up with the cars on roads it's unbelievably well built hand assembled so that that's what you pay that's what you get for eight eight times the money now if we look at the more reasonable competition to the Moto Campo you can buy a Segway which is another highly regarded brand name but Chinese made product the price is going to run from 500 to a little bit closer to the Moto Campo it can go up to 900 almost the same price but look look at the parameters the, the for the higher price you can go 40 miles on a charge the speed is also better 18 miles an hour as far as the looks are concerned it's not such an extraordinary trend-setting design as the Honda 
and obviously when you when you go to the office and you fold it out people are going to know that you have a scooter but you have mud guards you have totally enclosed drivetrain in fact there is no drivetrain because the motors are in the in the hubs and so it's a pretty clean looking device the same kind of minimalist high-tech looking readout and I believe that if you buy the upper end version you get uh, a motor both in the front and the rear wheel and you also have cruise control which is a really nice touch I would like to have electronic regenerative braking which I don't see here if I'm incorrect feel free to correct me but I, I just don't see that and apparently you can crank up the speed to 22 an hour well wow. on the upper end model so this is something to think about obviously it's not it's not as neat as the Honda it's not a collector's item the Honda is probably going to be sellable on the used market collectors market for decades to come because it's just such a unique design and then here's my favorite the the one I own although I own a different uh, version of it the Zooter scooter this is all handmade almost all metal there's a little bit of plastic here and here and there's even a magnesium deck which is very high-tech but consider it, it doesn't have any electric support and you can break a sweat in the summer but there is plenty of body heat and exercise opportunity on it during winter I'd rather be without the electric motor although you could on a stand-up scooter you could get exercise and body heat just by kicking here and there not not on the on this motor compo there, there's no way there's no way you could uh, you could get it you, you could get a you could kick this you you can't really do that so there's a lot of a lot of kicking on this lightweight scooter it only weighs 12 pounds at, at most and the cost is a fraction you could buy three of these scooters for the price of the Moto Campo so that is something to consider obviously I'm recommending a bunch of other scooters if you want to check out the site you can see all the bikes and, and scooters I'm recommending. I'm not really recommending this Moto Campo, although I do see that for some people, if you are a VP or some executive dressed in a suit, maybe you would look more stylish or more formal on, on this little suitcase on, on wheels or briefcase on wheels. And you might want to get this over something cheaper and probably spending a few hundred extra dollars is, is not going to make much difference for you I can see that but I cannot recommend it because for the money it is not your best bet I would even I would even choose the the Segway over this and there are other colors available you could buy um, a cream or white colored version and it's not an ugly design it's not a stunning innovative design like the like the compacto but uh, it is better value for it for the money so if you're just looking for getting the better better value I would go with this one obviously even this one I don't recommend because I only recommend handmade top quality goods so yeah if you want the very best the cheap ultralight 12 pound product is the Zooter to get and if you want to go all the way then I, I would go with uh, something like the Wii Pad which is an insane ride absolutely insane okay this is it for the current video and I'll see you in the next one